it's time to get the class to ready. Welcome here. Uh, this is the class CISG 1.4 and it's section 1. The name of this class is Web Technology and I. It's a general education course. Um, it's offered by the Faculty of Science and Technology in coordination with the Faculty of Business Administration. It's a very good course. It's not just a course about technology. It's about how you make sense of technology in your living today. Now, I do not need to tell you or ask you have you ever used the technology for the web? I guess you use them all the time. All right? And in, the, in part of this, uh, besides using the web, today most of you, and I guess almost 95% of you will have a mobile phone, and it's considered as an intelligent phone, either iOS or Android. So you have a system with you which carries with you all the information around the world at your fingertips, and it works together with the web. Now, the question is, does the web make our life better? Okay, do you agree that uh, we're living in a world where we can enjoy the technology making our life better? Or do you say, no, I still hate them, I never use them? Uh, that's really an interesting question. Okay, now let's get back to the business. Uh, this course has been offered since 2011, okay? Uh, we just passed the first cycle of four years, and it's been a uh, very good course. It has served more than 500 students, year one and year two students. But most of the students pass with flying colors because it's not a difficult course. It's a course that enables our students to learn. To learn. Uh, it's the purpose of the general education course not to give you a lot of the content which is often detained in your major. But in the context of general education, we would like to make sure that you owns the learning process and you know how to learn the way you like it. And so the general education course is helping you to transition uh, at the beginning of your college living or learning from being a taught to learn student to a learn to learn student. Okay, do you understand? A taught to learn student to a learn to learn student. But what is meant by taught to learn? Well, I think most of us have experienced secondary school living, uh, be it in Macau, be it inside mainland China, in Hong Kong, or in the Asian region. We very much emphasize on the kind of education which is based on examinations. And so we need to make sure we finish the exam with good grade before we could have a chance definitely, to get into the university. And we need someone to teach us how to do something, how to pass an exam by reviewing what kind of topics, or how to learn something. Well, an interesting situation arises uh, because every year in this university, we have a career fair. And not only company will send people here to interview our students. And uh, not only people will ask this question, um, you are in this major, but you are applying for this job which does not seem to have anything to do with the major. How are you going to handle this? How are you going to handle this? Are you going to apply for a job which is not related to the major? And then, in some cases, people will ask a question. Suppose uh, you are now applying for a job which is not directly related to what you study at the university. Please tell me how are you going to handle it? And Guess what some of the answers that the people got? It's, what do you think? Yes. You cannot speak this morning. It's okay, next time. So, what do you think? Well, mm -hmm. to the surprise of many, many people, uh, many of the students say, oh yes, no one has ever taught me this. And people will ask, can you teach yourself how to do it? Um, Looks like I never tried that. Because not only we are taught to learn something, and can we, can we, can we, can we, can we say, can we learn to learn something? What do you mean by learn to learn something? Okay? Uh, and then the interesting thing comes, the people who come to us, can you help the students to understand the meaning of learning to learn 
rather than being taught to learn, because that is the 21st century. We are looking for a few good candidates who can manage the problems we have. We cannot teach them how to solve them. We want them to help us to solve the problem. So we need students who can learn to learn. Okay? And so uh, with the feedback comes to us, we say, okay, then we need to give the message of course to our students. What do we mean by learn to learn? And what do we mean by talk to learn? Any idea? Okay, I'll give you some time to think about this. Alright, so we will come back to that. First of all, let's talk about this. We are going to meet in this class two days a week, okay? Um, Monday, as you can take a look at this little environment, Monday and Thursday, and every time we meet, suppose in this room, is from 10 to 11 15, okay? So we just have 75 minutes each. And so we meet on Monday and Thursday. And if you go back to this Google and everything on the next 14 weeks will be here, okay? So that is a very important environment for you to come back to look at what you're going to learn. Now, when you come to a class at the beginning of the semester, the first thing you need to look for is the syllabus of this class. And so I put the syllabus of this class immediately under site management. So if you happen to click on this link, okay, you will be brought to a PDF document that is the syllabus of this class, okay? Uh, it's a long syllabus, it contains a lot of information, it contains part A, B, C, D, and E, and normally you just need to read part A and part B, okay? So part A gives you uh, basic information on this course. It's a free credit course. That means we're going to get three hours of contact a week. And for each, which, for each, uh, each contact section is 1.5 hours. So it's all together two times 1.5 is three hours. Uh, it's about helping you to make sense of modern web technology. But we are going to extend a little bit to take a look at mobile technology. And how can this technology help us to learn our, work, our learning life, let's say, uh, based on what we experience? Okay, so we have a number of topics we would like to introduce to you. Uh, essentially, if you look at the contact, is about uh, 2.0, and also what 3.0 is about a number of tools, okay? And most of these do not have used them on your initial life with your computer, but we would not talk about this at this point. And then, it, it does not require any requisite. Okay, there is no requisite is necessary. Or we do have a textbook, okay? But we do not force you to buy a textbook because anything from the textbook has already been extracted and put into this website. But if you'd like to read the textbook, it's available in the library textbook sections. That's for introduction to the web 2.0 second editions. It's a very good textbook, although it's a bit expensive, okay? Right, uh, we do have a number of references uh, also available from our library. Now, the design of mental preparation is you will have good work in this class. You will not just be working alone. You will have plenty of time doing the work alone, but you are highly recommended to work with another person, which is called a partner, throughout the semester. So you need to look for a partner, okay? A learning partner. You and your learning partner will be a pair of workers learning together. And then uh, somewhere in the middle of the semester, each pair of you, or each pair of two of you, will be formed with another pair to become a team. Now you have to expand your learning pattern from an individual person to a pair of uh, colleagues and then to a team of students. All right, so we're going to use a lot of the e-learning uh, platform which is provided by the university called the UM Moodle, okay? At the university account UM, we call it UM Moodle, all right? And then, oh yes, it's very important, uh, now you're sitting in this very comfortable theater-like uh, classroom, that you might consider coming to class as just like watching a movie. 
and the teacher is being the performer. So I would like to give you an advice is learning is definitely not a spectator sport. That means you don't just sit there and watch. Okay? Learning it's an active process where you need to do something down to earth, practical enough, by doing a learning. Alright? You don't just listen. So you have to do a little bit of the research, uh, discussions, uh, particular in-class discussions, and then uh, presentations. Alright? But mainly to share with the whole class what you've learned. Alright? And then uh, that is a very important makeup. The three important objectives of this course, which uh, do not, I'm not so interested. First of all, as a teacher, my job is to help you become literary in the circle of fundamental about technology and some of my important impact of such technologies in our living. All right? That's number one, just like I teach you, okay? But I would say I share the knowledge with you. I do not own the knowledge myself. The second thing is, once you got something, all right? Oh, I heard about this, I tried that. So what do you think? I would like to encourage you to formulate your personal perspective on the technology used, on the impact of that technology on your personal living or on circle of friends. That is how you're going to be externalized. I would say the first objective is I give you something you internalize what you got. And the second is I would like you to externalize. Once you've got something in, you digest it, I would like you to externalize it. Put this out. Okay, share that with your fellow students the whole class. And the third objective is through the process of internalizations and externalizations of the knowledge, I would like you to have a heightened awareness of the impact of the web technologies on our modern living. Okay, and actually a little bit more than web technologies, as I said, maybe through mobile technology. So three very important objectives. Internalizations of the knowledge through the teacher's active disseminations of knowledge. The second is externalizations of your assimilated knowledge through sharing, talking, uh, in the discussions forum. And finally, how can I perceive there is a heightened sense of awareness from each one of you that you know the implications of these technologies? Both. Have you heard the stories recently in Macau and Hong Kong about the art of deceptions? Many people in Hong Kong got trapped, even very intelligent people. One of the famous examples is the author, Ai Hong. All right? He told the story of how he got cheated by people who got a hold of his personal information and create stories about this, and he got trapped. But okay, fortunately, he did not lose any money, but many people lost a lot of money. We will see the stories, uh, well, not perhaps not today, but this coming first. Alright? So, three important objectives. The topics here, as you can see, um, we have introductions to ours, uh, we have four common modules, of course, all the G courses in this area, IT and non society. And then we have key topics which is related to web technology, the blocks, the keys, the focus sharing, that's topic number one, RSS, uh, podcasting, so so bookmarking as topic number two, methods, virtual office applications as topic number three, tagging, taxonomy, and so so web, topic number four, topic number five, so so networking and e-business model. Topic number six is e-government and e-learning, okay? Topic number seven is how we can put things into perspective. Web 2.0 perspective. And we're going to weave these learning throughout the 14 weeks of this semester, okay? So what are you going to do? All right, you're going to come to class two times each week and for 1.5 hours each time. And during the class hour, normally we have 75 minutes. I will divide the class hour along into three sections. The first 30 minutes, the second 30 minutes, and the last 15 minutes. And I will mostly cover the first 30 minutes. And then I will pass the ball to 
all of you in the second 30 minutes, or sometime with yourself to interact pieces to excite you in the thinking. Okay, and this is not a hand-on course because we are not given any laboratory to do it, unfortunately. But I highly recommend it that you make the best use of the mobile devices such as your phone or your iPad, bring it to class or even a notebook computer. That is so much better. Okay, I welcome all of these. I will not confiscate them because I would like you to use the right pad devices, mobile phone or notebook during class to do in-class exercise or activities. All right. Okay, let's come to the assessment. If you look at the assessment, that is a very important thing for students when you come to the class. You need to understand how you are going to be evaluated. Uh, that means we need to do something. In this course, we have three major assignments, and we call each one of these a learning contract. And each of the learning contracts will earn you 10% of the final grade. Final is 100%, so the three learning contracts. The first one is normally individual with peer. The second one is pair with team, and the third one is team assignment. It does not earn you a lot because it's mainly a learning experience. So even though you did not do very well, it's okay, you got the experience. But most of the time in this course, you are responsible for your own learning, and you're also responsible for earning your desired grade throughout the semester. Now let's walk into this. We do have a project, and we call this a learning portfolio project. A learning portfolio is basically you trying to collect what you have done throughout the semester and put it in your e-portfolio. Now, we do have an e-portfolio called Mahara system, which is provided by the university for each one of you in particular when you are doing your residential college living. But in this course, we will not require you to do Mahara, but we would require you to use a very simple device inside the little environment, which is called wiki device, to create your Mahara portfolio, uh, no, to create your learning portfolio, and you can port them back to your Mahara on their own time. So basically, at the end of your free learning contract, okay, you will have 30% ready, and at the end of your project work, which is the last four weeks, you have 20%. Oh, what, what, what are we going to do with the remaining 50%? Because 100%, I do free learning contract 30%, I do learning portfolio 20%, what about the other 50%? Okay, the other 50% comes like this. First of all, let's take care of the midterm exam. The midterm exam will give you 15%, okay, the remaining 35% will be shared between two important items. The first is called the learn to learn activities. Oh, yes, because the teacher said we are transitioning from being taught to learn to learn to learn. So learn to learn activity is definitely one important item that gives you 15% of the semester score. And how are you going to do it? Well, if you look at the syllabus, the syllabus tells you it is expected, okay, although it's not required for submission, it's expected you do one topic investigations per week in the first 10 weeks, okay, although these will not be submitted. You do not need to submit them. What you need to submit is the first learning contract, second learning contract, and third learning contract. You can see the template in a minute. But during the time when you prepare your learning for the first learning contract, you might be doing something which cannot be explicitly rewarded in the learning contract, but it will be rewarded in the learning to learn activity, mainly in the categories of reading, as in online activities, you search, okay, you, you share with your learning problem, and you do a lot of online writing, okay? All of these could be kept track of in the other environment. What you need to do in order to earn the 15% is to make sure you put them in a very good position and send this to me as a record of the work towards the end of semester, and you will be legible to earn the 15%, okay? So it's mainly encouraged you to do a lot of behind the scenes learning and you need to manage your work of learning and you need to get ready. So to me, I did this. All of these in order to do the learning contract. Now I'm going to earn my 15% learning. Many of my past students 
love this activity because at the very beginning they thought that I did a lot of work, but if the learning contract just give me this form, how can I tell it's worthwhile? And then when I say, you can tell me that through this, and you can train your learn to learn activity score by showing me in the Moodle environment what you need for this, for that, for that, all right? Okay, for example, you need a meeting. You manage to write a meeting minutes. You call your partners, and you manage to remind him or her that this is something important for the team project. All of these could be counted. So it's very important. And don't look down that this is the learn to learn details. And of course, you have in class participation. Anytime you want to share with the whole class what you learn, what you discover, as I tell you, in the second half hour, I will give time for you to do the sharing by coming up here, picking up the microphone, getting ready your PowerPoint slide. And whenever you do that, you keep track of this in your learn to learn activity, and we will give you score for your explicit in class participation. And look at this, 20%. In other words, this is no classroom. Every time, when we spend time together with 75 minutes, I will occupy 30 minutes, and I'll give this remaining 30 minutes to all of you to like earn this score of sharing with the class what you learn, definitely related to this course. And then you can keep a record in the learn to learn activity, you can keep a record in in class participations, okay, and then you use that to train your 20% score. Oh, what does it mean? In other words, in this class, whenever your performance is being evaluated, it's not just your exam score. It's not just your midterm exam or final exam. And indeed, we do have any final exam in this class. It is your learning activity throughout the semester that you can earn the score already. Okay? That is called formative assessment. Pass a little bit of a summative assessment. This is what we call the Summative assessment, okay, examination day. And the other is activity dates. All right, so any questions about that is very important. All right, so and then let's move a little through this. Um, I have a very brief schedule of work about uh, learning, okay, as you can see, we have about um, 40 weeks together, and normally this is what we expect you to do, okay. Uh, on the right hand side, this is called the causal item. It is expected to give a journal of what you learn every week. What is meant by journal? Journal is an act of note taking. Okay? You take notes. You don't just take note from the teacher's lecture. Okay? You take note from the resources you use to learn something from the Moodle website. Uh, remember what I told you at the very beginning. In this Moodle website, if you slide down to the end, you can see every week we have already given you explicit information of what you learn and some of the links of those information. Now, we do not need to cover all of these, but it is enough information there related to the titles that come in modules that will make you educated enough about this technology. Okay? And all of these, it's located here, including the submission link for something very specific, and then the assessment record. At the end of the submissions, in about one week's time, I will finish breaking them, and you can come to this assessment link, and click on it, and you can see the score, okay? And that is the assessment score for the free learning contract, free major assignment. And for you to keep track of your learn to learn activity, I provide you with the learning journal every week, electronic, and provide you with a discussion forum every week for you to discuss with your learning partner. And also give you a pair of discussion forum. If you do not want to talk to the whole class, you can just talk with your learning partner or the team member. And also provide you with a hotline for me, which is a dedicated channel just by sending me an email. If you have anything you want to talk with me without letting other people know, use the hotline for that week, okay? Each one of you will have a specific hotline, all right? So all of these, including the 14 weeks materials are here, and you are recommended to go through this website 
after today's class before we come back on Thursday. But first of all, let me tell you, for those of you who are new here, how can you get into this site, all right? Suppose you are here in your web browser, you add the particular window here, and over here you just type, okay, at the University of Macau, we call it webcourse.umac.mo, okay? And after that, it will be something like this, is right on this thing, you will be brought to a page like this, okay? Everybody can follow this, right? All right, okay? If you can't, we'll show you slowly again. And over here is the UN window. The second one is your e-portfolio in your residential college you're going to be using. And here, you click on this link. And not only if you are not locked in yet, you will be called to a lock-in screen here. Instead of lock out, you will see lock-in. And when you click on the lock-in button, for example, let me lock out at this point. Now I'm locked out, so just like this. When you are here, you click on the lock-in button. You will be brought to a page like this. And at this point, you have to keep remember an uh, act is a definitely important part of this login ID. At pclan.umac.mo is a definite must. And whatever before the act is the student ID. Okay? The student ID without a hyphen number, I guess. Okay? That is very important for me. And that is my user ID. Okay? And so, I type this pclan.umac. .mo. So that is my user ID, and the password is basically the password to your email account, okay? But you can change to something that different, okay? Um, normally that is what you need. And then you will go back to an environment like this where you have a means of courses. Uh, normally every course, okay, you will have a, a web, a UN Moodle website, okay? And so in this particular case, uh, we are here because that is section one. So here we go. We have this particular site here. All right. So every week I'm going to give you a teacher's message at the beginning of the week, and just like this morning, I gave you a teacher's message. When you come here for the class announcement and news, you can see the teacher's message here. And read the teacher's message very carefully because it contains information about the week and something about what you need to learn. All right. And so in the teacher's message of today, uh, or this week, I told you a little bit about gender education at the University of Macau, okay? And so please go through them, including the gender education handbook, okay? Well, actually, I made it easy for you to get access to it. At the very beginning of this website, you can see that I've included the GE handbook 2015, 2016 here. Then you click on this name, the GE handbook will be here, and so you can read the GE handbook online, okay? Uh, make sure you study the message from our rector, okay? General education, what is general education is all about. I've given you my interpretations this morning. That is to help you to learn to learn from being a talk to learn student, okay? And what is entailed in the learn to learn process? How can we get involved in the learning to learn process? All right. So we will tell you very uh, concisely what you need to do um, from the very beginning, uh, giving you this environment. All right. Giving you this environment which is very comfortable, but you're still there in a very comfort zone. All right. The comfort zones will enable you to be living. Okay, the learn to learn process requires you to get out of your comfort zone and to learn something by doing it. Okay? And except for learning something by doing is you don't just listen to the instructor, you have to come up here, pick up the microphone and get involved. Alright? To do some studies which is really interesting to you. Okay. So oh yeah. I've already talked about 40 minutes, so uh, allow me to say that I need to introduce a little bit myself. Uh, I'm originally from Macau. I was born here, and then I, I spent my high school here uh, until I finished my 
matriculation courses at the former University of East Asia, which is the former University of Macau, the now University of Macau. And then I, was, I get a chance to study in the US, and then I come back and teach at the University of Macau uh, Factory Science and Technology. Um, I was educated mostly in Cantonese and English, and my Mandarin is not so good, but I'm willing to learn. I can uh, speak a little bit. Uh, so you cannot understand Cantonese when I happen to speak a little bit of Cantonese. Please raise your hand. I try to speak in Mandarin. <laughs> All right. So, but in class, uh, because this is a GE course, we have to teach in English. So I will only talk in our language during the break. All right. I cannot talk in any other language except English during the class time. Okay, this is the rule. So I highly encourage you to, to practice learning English. So now, um, allow me to invite you, for those of you who have the mobile devices, try get online now, okay, to the Buddha and government and see if you can get online. It's easy, all right? It's easy. And if you can get online to the Buddha environment, Come to this social forum, okay? The social forum here, which in the very first block, we can enter it and say hi to the whole class. Hi, I am who and who? Good day, okay? It's a very simple message, the whole class. Can you do that? All right? Let's go online to this particular environment and then come to the social forum and say hi to the whole class, okay? Um, the reasons why I did not bring paper copies of the syllabus is I want to save the environment, okay? You can always go there to, to read it, okay? Because it, I would like, I hate to see a lot of trees being cut down and then we just throw the papers around. So forgive me, I did not prepare paper-based syllabus to me. Right. Oh yes. People will ask me, how do we call you, sir? Oh, you can call me Dr. Buck, okay? Uh, this is a typical way to address me. Okay. Give me some time to type the message. You can type the name. Uh, I found which major, which faculty, and which RC, alright? So that is very uh, basic information. <clears throat> and of course, you can ask me questions just by raising your hand, alright? I will pass you the microphone and say, you can ask questions and everybody can listen to that. Take the time. You can just practice this at the new discussion topic and say, Hello, I am. And then, Thank you. Wow, today we have mobile devices all the time. Okay? Thank you. We got the first reading. Is it Kui? Chu. Thank you very much.
Okay, we got the second one. That's one Haley. Wow, very good. And that is interactive. So. The uh, interesting thing about this semester when I teach this course is um, I have one section follow the other sections. So immediately after section number one, I need to go to teach section number two. But the unfortunate thing is, it's not here. I have to run across the building in 15 minutes back to E4. Wow, this is a challenge for me. So um, if I cannot answer your questions after class, you understand it because I need to make sure I'll be there on time. So the reasons why we have the forum here and the Q and the Q and the is to make it easy for you to ask questions anytime you want. And normally it pops up in my email and I can help answer your question. That's very good. Let's keep doing. Very good. We got a uh, number more. Very good. I hope each one of you got succeeded doing that. Uh, we have mock, okay, uh, which is from biology. Uh, that means the uh, fact of the health science, right? Okay, continue. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. And then, uh, wow, that's very good, you see? And another one. Another very interesting thing. Oh, we have Ada. Okay, thank you. Um, communications E1, thank you. You will get used to doing this because not only do we do a lot of this kind of interactive um, sessions, I give you uh, different um, questions for discussion during the class or even after that. And then let's see. Thank you. This is from my uh, FSS, okay, county. Thank you. Very good. Well, those of you are getting involved now. Okay. Okay. Then we and then Yang and then clear out. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. As a teacher, uh, it's very important. Yes, students are help. Very good. Most of you can make, can make it now. Yeah. 
That's very good. It's, a, it's the most important housewarming exercise. So you are and you're really on board now. So let's see. Ooh, that's very good. Now, in order to sort through a lot of things, I need to come here. Not only as a teacher, I need to take attendance of the course. And one of the ways that I uh, offer my widow and daughter to take attendance is the attendance device. Okay, right here you can see that I have the attendance name. Alright? And so what I need to do is to type in uh, a particular date's attendance. See that uh, I could take attendance now with this. Okay, let me just go back to the attendance record sections. Right. So the way to take attendance normally in the, in the past we use a, a paper and pencil. Now we can just do this. Um, so I just call the name. Um, Gaping. Are you here? Are you here? Thank you. If you're here, then uh, I just put on a, a P, and then, oh, no, sorry, the down thing is here. And then the, the other one is Maria. Maria, are you here? Thank you. And then Alexa, Alexa, have I pronounced the name correctly? Alexa. Alexa, thank you very much. Now, uh, Romy, Romy, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then Annie. Thank you. Uh, Daryl? Thank you. Gaffney? Uh, Are you here? Gaffney? Are you here? Not here, so not here. That means I'm going to take this one. Mingdong? Uh, Mingdong? Not here? Okay. All right. Are, are you here? Okay, sorry. I didn't see you. Thank you very much. Nisa? Is it Nisa? Are you here? Not here. Are you? Thank you. Uh, Haley, yes, thank you, because I see the message. Noreen, Noreen, thank you. Uh, Nian Jun Wei, thank you. Uh, Rico, Rico, not here yet. Gahi, Gahi, not here yet, okay. Gahi, thank you. Is Gahi your sister? No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, yum yum. Thank you. Uh, Sita. Thank you. Uh, Wing Lam. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will try to remember your name with your faces. Okay. Hawkman. Hawkman. Not yet. Okay. C1. Thank you. Uh, ten. Ten Pan. Thank you. Uh, C wing. C wing, are you here? Not here yet. Okay. Lenki. Thank you. Okay. And then Gao Chun. Gao Chun. Not yet here. Uh, Renny. Thank you. So how many students do we have? I guess uh, it's about 30 something. Okay. That's very good. Uh, it's a very good size indeed. It's not too many students, but uh, it's good enough to do 
more interactions. So I can save the attendance, and that will be the attendance kept for today. Um, long only the register requires to keep the attendance. Let's see what happened. Number one, we have 
four weeks gone already, that means you should have done four specific investigations. But you do not need to submit all of four, but just to submit one. Okay? So you need to select one topic of your interest, write your journal on that topic, make sure that you've already spent time sharing and discussing the topic with your learning partner, and then so you can copy and paste the discussion's detail. That will be the completed on the discussion columns, recording the exchange detail throughout, say, week number two, three, and four, and one complete report, which is a little bit detailed, uh, then more detailed than the journal. The journal is making the notes, okay? You do not need to organize it in a very elaborate manner, but the report, you need to have a format. And then you need to write a blog after the report. The report is a long one. But long is in the same couple of pages. A block is just a few paragraphs, you see, that summarizes. It. And then you might want to tell us, after the exercise, what you want to do next. And so we provide you with the opportunity to support, to submit your proposals of what you want to do next. is maybe on you to tell me, to, to tell your fellow couple what you want to do. And the meeting minute means whatever you have discussed with your own really partner, if you want to keep the records of that, and that is important on the key points that is considered as the meeting minute. So it's basically it's a housekeeping process, and you provide uh, your housekeeping products, details, to frame your score. And all of these considered as the artifacts for a specific learning contract. But remember, I did not ask you to do what topic. It's you who is going to decide what topic you're going to do, okay? And so it's very important that you go through these websites, okay? The websites include the syllabus we just walked through, the reading. Uh, we have actually 14 weeks, uh, and so you can come to the reading after I provide you on each week to suggest the reading, okay? And those readings, you do not expect to read all of them. Okay, and I do not expect you to read all of them, but they are the very important resources to match for the topics. So you just select what is important. So you have a lot of freedom, all right? So be sure you're in charge. You do not need to ask what to do, but you tell yourself, okay, the many interesting topics, let me just take this one and try to explore it. And so these are some of the ingredients. And together with that, some videos, okay? <clears throat> Submissions, I'm just going to give you the meaning of that uh, from the perspective of calendar. So, may I invite you to go back home, make sure you visit each one of these names here. These are very important names for you to get familiar with the class, the course, the rules of the games, for example, the uh, classroom participations, the classroom management, the interrogations, and some of the essential transferable skills expected, and even the course review on the 14th weeks is here. And you can see for yourself uh, is this course good enough for you to devote your time? Oh, yes, time management is important. If you ask me, uh, how much time can I go to this course? I would say roughly six hours per week. And how am I going to divide six hours per week among activities like this? I've given you a very interesting suggested page here so you can go to time management okay you can see a little bit of my interpretations uh you might spend one hour reading you might spend one hour doing learning general you might spend one hour doing discussion forum you might spend one hour doing collaborations with others and then one hour writing report and one hour presentation but sometimes it's very hard to just do this one hour per when you do a class, it's five minutes each, and then ten minutes each, and then you need to put them together and try this stuff, okay? So time management is a very important soft skill. You need to learn to master, so that in this GE course, I'm giving you a lot of the important themes, okay? So the first class is very important. The first class, how much you hear, you need to go through this, beside the service, beside the assessment skill, all right? So, Allow me to say, I'm going to shut my mouth now. Um, in the remaining 10 minutes, I'm going to see if there's any other questions. So uh, I can answer.
answer it directly. And then I have to walk to another classroom or another class, okay? I will make friends with each one of you in this class, try to remember your name, your preferences, okay? So just uh, enjoy this class, okay? Um, it's important that you know that um, when you spend time in a course, you're going to learn something. Okay? What are you going to learn in this class? Now, I have not answered you yet today. Okay? But by reading things like this, you will see some things. Alright? But officially speaking, okay, if you want to know what you're going to learn from this class, when you come to course home, we do have the course learning objective, which I've already explained it to you, sorry. But the course intended learning outcomes are something, abilities, that you need to pick it up with you at the end of the course, okay? So, read some of this, all right? So, any questions? If you have a question, you raise your hand, or if you think that it's much more appropriate to ask the question through uh, the channels here, so because we have a lot of channels here, uh, you're welcome, okay? The public uh, online forum or the hotline. Uh, one more thing, the hotline will be uh, ready on first. Okay. Now the hotline is not each one of you because I need to make sure after the first class I can stop online. By the way, uh, I forgot to introduce that. Uh, the reason why I set up a camera there is at the end of the class. The video of the classroom on YouTube, okay? So you can review the classroom video, okay? This is a practice of this course of five years already, all right? So uh, do not be shy, it's learning activity. It's not that much you all right?
all see your hand on first. So that's it for today, CISG 114, section 1. It's the 4, 2015 semester, date number 1, August the 24, until this first day. See you.